When you look at what other people are doing, compare where you're at to where they're at and start to feel bad about yourself, start to feel like you're behind in life, that is when you have a problem. It's one thing to look at what other people are doing and feel inspired. You see your friend doing well in her career, in school. You use that as motivation to want more for yourself versus falling down a pit of negative self-talk. Your anxiety will make you feel like you're behind in life. And I found myself, I caught myself in the act of the negative self-talk when I was driving yesterday. I kept replaying in my head, I'm in my flop flop era, era. and I found myself getting really anxious, freaking out as I was driving, like I need to do something right now. I am behind, I don't know why it's taking me so long, right? There's no timeline that you're supposed to be on. Everyone has their own unique timeline. So for me in that case to be like freaking out because I'm not where I should be, I'm running out of time, where am I getting these thoughts from? And it becomes a problem. This is why people get consumed in these thoughts because they don't take a step back to try to understand the actual thought itself and like where it's stemming from. They just take it at face value as the truth. So anyways, I'm driving. I pull into the parking spot where I need to be and I just stop for a second and I said out loud, I'm in my flop era. What does that even mean? Where did I get that statement from? And why is it stressing me out so much? I realized that I was just taking terms that I hear on social media, seeing clips of young successful people, comparing myself to other people where they're at in every aspect of my life that happens. But it all just like came together (laughs) at one time and I realized in that moment, that's what I had been doing. That's what I, whether I realize it or not when I'm scrolling, that's what happens. And that's what happens when you're consuming. You see other people's lives, people show you the highlight reels, and then you start to feel behind in life or you second guess what you're doing or your worthiness. I sat there and I won. I thought that is the most ridiculous statement ever to say, I'm in my flop era. It just sounds very silly to reduce where you're at in your life, your journey to a single phrase that's very self-deprecating. I just want to remind myself because I, I know this, but I need to reteach myself. There's no such thing as being behind in your own life. There's no set timeline that you need to be on. And I always say that if you're following your curiosity, if you're staying true to yourself, following your authenticity, self-discovering, you simply can't be behind in life. You are on your journey and you are taking the route that you need to in order to create your own story. And I will say like one of the best books I've ever read are these two, Mindset and Mastery. They really dive into trusting your own journey and your own unique abilities because everyone has something that they are good at and that they are called to do and it's the reason why maybe you're interested in a subject that your friends aren't the reason why that person wants to be a doctor and this person wants to be a news anchor it just it's not the wrong path there's no wrong way to go as long as you are honoring yourself you're thinking for yourself you're trying to learn and grow through every moment i realized my anxiety was sabotaging me because your anxiety will make you feel like you need to act in the very moment saying something or doing something in that moment is not what's going to benefit you maybe it's actually slowing down Maybe it's taking a walk, journaling, really self-reflecting instead of jumping into things without really having thoughtfulness behind it. I was listening to a podcast of actually the author of Mastery and he was saying that anxiety will have you searching for the quickest form of gratification to ease your anxiety. This is where we fall into the rabbit hole if we're not consciously thinking about it. 
oh, I'm feeling really anxious right now. Let me grab my phone. But really, like, the phone is a piece of the problem because that's where the content is. That's where you think that you're behind. And so taking a step back, self-reflecting and analyzing the thoughts that pop up, even saying them out loud can take away the power or the effect of that thought. And one of the things that I love about these books too, that they really go into successful people. When I say successful, it looks so different among every example that they use. But for the most part, what I've found is that they lean into their unique abilities, their strengths. They leave an impact in some way. Whether it's in the science world, in the sports world, it literally doesn't matter. It's just more showing that they had an inclination and they followed it. And one of the examples that I'm reading now is about Einstein. So basically, when he was younger, growing up, people thought he was a failure. His parents were worried about him because they didn't think that he could be a good student. He was behind. They didn't know if he would develop or if he was developing fast enough. And so they took him to the doctors and they learned that that style of schooling that he was in was not suitable for his way of learning. And they moved him to a different type of school, which was more creative and allowed you to kind of choose your own path. And that's where he excelled. He focused so intensively on one area of study that everyone was like, you're wasting your time. When he could have been viewed as a failure, when he was viewed as a, fa as a failure, he could have stopped there. And maybe that could have been true. Maybe he could have ended as a failure and we would never know his name. But he didn't internalize those thoughts, okay? I'm sure he felt it too. I'm sure he thought, why am I so fixated on this thing? Should I give up? But he didn't internalize the thoughts. He didn't let that define his path. If he had started to compare himself to everyone in the field that's way farther along than him, Nobel Prize winners, all the things, then he wouldn't have kept going. Trusting yourself, trusting where you're at in life, and keeping your blinders on. Like, obviously, people are going to be doing more than you. There's always going to be people more successful. There's always going to be smarter, funnier, richer people. But you don't have to let that be discouraging. It's a matter of being motivated by that versus having it make you feel bad about yourself. Another little story that I'll end off on is the story of Billy Bean. He played for a baseball team. I don't remember the name now. He just kept getting praised for how great he was, his natural ability. And then, this is why I always say, it's not about where you start, it's about where you end up. Over time, he wasn't able to keep up with that talent, right? And it was more just his mindset of, I don't feel like I should have to work for it because it should come naturally because it always has. Then he fell off, he didn't keep up, he didn't try to improve his skills, and so, that's when his career kind of died. And then later down the road, he became the coach for the Oakland A's. And at that time, he really learned the importance of mindset and how you can train yourself, you can develop skills. So just because you're not good at something right now doesn't mean that you can't work on it and get better at it. Everything can be learned. Anxiety is stemmed from lacking information. You feel anxious because you don't have the answers but you will get the answers with time, with practice, with effort. And so anyways, he became the coach of the Oakland A's. He led them to 20 straight wins after like their huge flop era. And even in that situation, they could have just internalized that. They are getting publicly scrutinized. Like they're failures, they're terrible, they're embarrassing to the baseball society why did i forget the mlb thank you they realized the power of expanding your skills expanding your mindset everything can be figured out and we all have skills that we bring to the table it's just a matter of tapping into those skills if you're in your flop era one detaching yourself from those thoughts and just observing it 
maybe you are feeling anxious because you're lacking the skills that you want to have maybe you really do know that you can have more for yourself that you can be better but don't compare where you're at to somebody else just know that yes you can probably be better the best version of yourself not the best version of that person and then from there you can kind of like start to explore where your interests lie what did you like to do as a kid what is something that you would leap into if you knew people wouldn't judge you okay we care a lot about the opinions of others what is something that regardless of what anybody said you would do it and that's what i would start with whether it's content creation whether it's writing acting starting a business whatever it is if that is really where your heart is telling you to go but you're scared of what other people think or you're scared of failing leap into that because whether or not maybe that specific goal you either achieve it or you don't but in the process of achieving that goal and the journey along the way you're going to learn and grow and that will redirect you those are just my thoughts on being in our flop era yes you can use it to set higher goals for yourself or set more tangible goals for yourself but don't let that hinder you from taking action i think all decisions should be made from a calm state and a self-trusting state i trust myself i know that this is something i want to explore in this moment of my life i think everything can be treated like an experiment we don't have to fully devote our lives to one thing it's more just like in this point of time what is the experiment we're working on so i hope that this inspired you in some way <laughs> and if it did please leave a comment of what it is that you're going to work on regardless of what other people think about it okay bye